The Sentry is an armored turret which can spin 360 degrees for reduced vulnerability and full circle coverage. In most installations, the Sentry engages a fence line close to a facility's edge. The Sentry's exterior panels are bullet hardened, its doors open vertically when the weapon is deployed, and there are two removable panels on each side which are present to expose the remotely operated weapon system for loading and maintenance. Command Control, or C2, and the Remotely Operated Weapon Station, or ROSE, together form a networked weapon system intended to protect nuclear power plants and other important high security facilities. The system consists of the C2 and multiple weapons platforms, or sentries. Each sentry turret contains and operates one of two weapon types, the Ares EPG or the M240 SLR. The EPG is the primary weapon and focus of this video. Coverage of the M240 SLR is available within the operations manual. The location configuration is a one-time setup done on-site by Precision Remotes. This is to customize the C2 and the ROS system to match the facility. The configuration includes map setup and scaling. Precision Remotes performs a site survey to match an overhead image of the facility onto the map view to scale. The ROS icons are placed on the map at their designated locations. Finally, preset targets may be selected and programmed into the map's views control. Battle Station Command and Control, and C2, is the name of the software and hardware which operates and controls the ROS systems. The C2 has a graphical user interface and consists of the supervisor station and multiple operator stations. There are typically three users who operate the C2 and the ROSE system, the security supervisor and two operators. During normal operations, the supervisor has the final authorization for enabling the two operator stations and firing of the weapons by the operators. The supervisor can also shut down all rows and select rows mode or training mode. When authorized by the supervisor, each operator can select any available rows. Once selected, that rows is no longer available to the other operator. The operator has the ability to deploy and stow, also referred to as unlock and lock, the rows, and to target, arm, safe, and fire the weapon. The supervisor can disable the operator stations or prevent firing at any time. The supervisor station consists of a touchscreen PC with the supervisor network unit or SNU panel mounted to its bottom and the SNU rack to manage the connection between the C2 and the rows. This station authorizes the activation of the operator stations and firing the weapon by the operator stations. The supervisor touchscreen displays a map of the facility and a targeting screen. The map views operators' activities and weapon status. The supervisor may enable or shut down all rows and enable or disable the operator stations. The SNU panel allows for changing from between rows modes to trainer mode and to enable or disable the rows triggers. Both switches control the SEDs, or Supervisor Enabled Disabled Switch, where the rows can only be armed if the trigger is set to enable and the mode is set to rows. Typically, one key is shared between the two switches to enforce the correct sequencing. The SNU, or the Supervisor Network Unit Rack, is the conduit between all sentry rows, the Supervisor Station and the Operator Stations. All content from the sentry rows, video feeds, row status, are fed to the SNU via streaming IP on fiber or copper connections. From there, data flows to the supervisor and operator stations via Ethernet. The operator station consists of a touchscreen PC and the rows controller. There are typically two operator stations. The stations allow monitoring of premises, selection and control of the sentry, targeting, arming, and firing. Activation of operator stations and firing of the weapons require authorization from the supervisor station. The touchscreen and the controller are the two main interfaces 
for the operator station user. The targeting window displays weapon video from the selected rows. The map view displays the sentry activities and the weapon status. Using the touch screen and or controller, the operator selects a rose, arms or disarms the weapon, fires and shuts down the selected rows. The rose controller plugs into the controller port. It provides control for the sentry pan, tilt, zoom, menu access, and firing of the weapon. The integrated miles transmitter receiver provides security and training functions. The miles transmitter is mounted on the weapon sensor package within the sentry turret. It is integrated into the rows and serves as part of the training mode. When the training mode is engaged, the weapon stays locked into the bullet trap, but the optics arm will raise and deploy. The optics arm moves like the weapon. The sentry turret will spin as though the weapon is deployed, but while in training mode, the sentry is completely safe. During training mode, the operator has the ability to fire. Doing so activates the miles which triggers a red LED on the back of the miles transmitter. This indicates that the weapon is firing. The weapon sensor package also contains a miles receiver, which gives it the ability to measure shots from personnel when training and automatically disable the system if hit. An operations and maintenance manual for command and control and operation of the remotely operated weapon station is available upon request.